Here yeah, we back. We back. Now, today we're going to be talking about the president of Senegal, right? The president of Senegal, you know, he made some state visits today. I believe it was today. He went to go pay a visit to the Alliance of Sahelian States, right? He went to Mali and Burkina Faso. Now, a lot of people don't really know what to expect from the Senegalese president, right? He's very ambiguous. He's very diplomatic. And to be honest, he's a politician in every sense of the word, right? He's, he's a diplomat. So this is natural in his demeanor. So he's very diplomatic when it comes to the Europeans, when it comes to his brothers. He doesn't really pick a side. And I guess that's smart on his part. But when it comes to us on the outside looking in, we don't really know where to pin him down. We don't really know where he stands, right? So as it stands right now, I'm just sitting back and I'm observing. I'm not putting him in any box. I'm not saying that he's a sellout. I'm not saying he's a puppet. I'm not saying he's a, you know, he's a Pan-African revolutionary. I'm just sitting back and I'm watching. You know, he says some things I like. He does some things I like. Like last week, I put out a video where the prime minister was talking about how the French military bases got to go. They got to leave Senegal. So I'm just sitting back and I'm observing, right? I'm just sitting back. I'm just observing. Now, today I seen he went to take a visit to Mali and Burkina Faso. And that was very interesting, right? The French media going crazy right now. The French media, yeah, they mad. <laughs> the French media, they mad right now. You know, they talking shit. But that's to be expected. You know how they do. That's to be expected. We don't we don't listen to what the Western boys be talking about. You know, we just point at them and laugh and we just be talking shit back to them. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. But anyways, as you can see, my boy hopping off the jet. Linking up with a Simi Goy to the president of Mali. Now, a lot of folks, as we already know, the man of the hour right now, the man going crazy right now is Ibrahim Traore. That's the man with the headlines. That's the one making headlines. But a lot of folks don't know. Before Ibrahim Traore came to power, it was a Simi Goita in Mali who set it off. Y'all don't know that, though. Y'all don't know. It was a Simi Goita back in like 2021, 2022, who was the first one to tell the Frenchman, get the fuck out my country, bro. He was the first one. He was the first one. Bro, I remember I was glued to the news watching the developments of that going down, bro. I was like, yo, Dessaline is back. <laughs> I was like, yo, Christoph is back. Tusa Louvre 2 is back. Like, bro, I was like, yo, we back. You know, yeah, he was the first one to tell the French, get your, get your military the hell out of my country, bro. Tell the ambassador, you have 72 hours to get the fuck out the country, bro. I'm not playing with you, bro. Like, yo. He set it off. And then after that came Ibrahim Chore. And after that came General Chiani in Niger. That was, yo, but he was the first one to set it off, though. He was the trendsetter. He was the first one. He was the pioneer who went into uncharted territory. And a lot of people say that he is the mastermind. He's the brains behind the operation of the Alliance of Sahelian States. You got to understand, he's not no regular soldier, right? He was a high ranking member of the Malian special forces front line against the jihad. It's going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Real shooter, real gangster. So, man, President Asimi Goita in Mali, he was the first one making headlines before Ibrahim Chore. Now, obviously, you know, Ibrahim Chore, he's the man right now. You know, everybody going crazy for him right now. But we cannot forget it was Asimi Goita who set it off first, who got the candle lit first. Right. Take a look up on the screen. This was back in January 2022, over two years ago, two and a half years ago. Mali's military rulers say the French ambassador has 72 hours to leave the country. Bro, I remember being glued to my seat. I was like, yo, he back. Nigga, the black man is back. <laughs> the black man is back. And then shortly after that, he told the French military, bro, it's time to go. It's time to leave, bro. It's time to leave. You don't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. As you can see, this was also back in February 2022. The French led Western forces to withdraw from Mali. Now, of course, CNN, they're going to try to, you know, butter it up and say, oh, we are withdrawing from. Mali. No, the black man told you to leave, bro. The black man said you got to go home, bro. You know, they trying to they trying to salvage their pride. Oh, we we're leaving on, on our own accord voluntarily. Nigga, no, you're not. Nigga. <laughs> no, you're not. Nigga. You've been evicted, you know. But anyway, as you can see, them boys were sick about that. You know, my boy had to dodge assassination attempts. Take a look up on the screen. Mali's interim president, Asimi Goita, doing very well after assassination attempt. The man accused of trying to kill the Malian president dies in custody. That's when I knew President Asimi Goita, he, he a real gangster for real. He really special forces for real. You know, they said my man died in custody the same day. God damn. Anyway, let's get into today's story, man. President of Senegal, let's get it. Take a look up on the screen. The president of Senegal makes his first visit to military ruled Mali in Burkina Faso. Senegal's new president, Jomai Fai, on Thursday began his first visit to Mali and Burkina Faso to strengthen ties with these two states, which have quit the regional bloc ECOWAS. 
Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger are all under military rule following coups. In January, the trio announced they were quitting the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, which they said was under French influence, to create their own regional group, the Alliance of Sahelian States. Man, listen. The black man is in a building. <laughs> the black man is in a building. Anyway, let's continue. President Fai landed in the Malian capital on Thursday and headed to the presidential palace where he is due to hold talks with the junta head, Cardinal Asimi Goita, a Malian presidential source said. These visits are part of a drive to strengthen the historic ties of good neighborliness, fraternal friendship, solidarity, and multifaceted cooperation, the Senegalese presidency said in a statement. President Fai has made several trips across West Africa since being sworn in as the continent's youngest elected president in early April. Thursday's trip marks his 10th visit to an African state since assuming the presidency. The choice of destinations within the continent speaks volumes about the importance of strengthening Pan-Africanism and reinvigorating sub-regional integration in its diplomatic priorities, a Senegalese government statement said. Now, this is what I mean when I say President Fai of Senegal is an excellent diplomat, right? Because he always knows what to say depending on who he's in a room with, right? Like, for example, when he's talking to the Europeans, he's talking about, you know, economic cooperation and things like that. But when he's talking to, you know, the brothers in the Sahil, he's talking about, you know, strengthening Pan-Africanism. And to be honest, this is the behavior of a diplomat. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying he's a politician. He's a diplomat. He is supposed to kind of operate in ambiguity. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying that it's smart on his part. And obviously, we got to remember these nations such as Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, things like that. These are part of ancient kingdoms that were once united under one single government right these nations were under one kingdom back in the day right the mali kingdom the mandate kingdom right so these men have historical connections that go beyond you know years and centuries back so way before the berlin conference when all these artificial borders were created these men have historical connections and, and family ties so you know it's kind of like a you know it's family business going on here bro it's family business but anyways let's continue take a look up on the screen the three countries have formed a defense and cooperation pact known as the Alliance of Sahelian States and plan to establish a confederation. Senegal's President Fai, elected in March, has said that he would try to persuade the Malian government led by Asimi Goita to remain in ECOWAS. He said, I spent a lot of time discussing it with the colonel. I understand their position, which, although rigid, is not totally inflexible. Now, listen, President Fai, let, let me talk to you real quick, bro. Let me talk to you real quick. All right. The top of the agenda cannot be you know coming back to ECOWAS you know let's talk you know economic cooperation military cooperation you know let's talk business let's talk trade first let's you know let's let's get money first and then you know maybe you know we maybe you know we can talk you know ECOWAS after you know way after but you know them boys ain't, ain't going back to ECOWAS anytime soon man unless you know ECOWAS comes back under the control of the black man as it stands right now ECOWAS is not under the control of the black man I remember if you've been watching my channel for months and months and months, you were, I showed you the inside of those ECOWAS meetings. Why was there so many white men in the room, bro? Why was there so many white men inside the ECOWAS meetings, bro? I thought it was the economic community of West African states. Where the fuck was the West African men? The West African men should have been in the room by ourselves, bro. So listen, until that shit gets fixed, nigga, fuck ECOWAS. You feel me? It's too many white boys in the room. Let's continue. The three Sahil states formally notified the ECOWAS Commission of the decision to leave the bloc in written notices dated on January 29th, which according to the treaty means they would still be bound by membership until one year from that date. President Fai also visited Burkina Faso's leader, Captain Ibrahim Chaure, in the capital of Ouagadougou on Thursday. We also discussed the subject of ECOWAS. I understand today the position are somewhat fixed, but I perceive that in each of these positions a window of opening that allows us to establish a third dialogue. President Fai said, according to the Burkina Bay's President Communication Department. Listen, man, President Fai, listen, you got to relax, bro. You got to relax. You see, when it comes to the Alliance of Sahelian States, ain't no white boys in the room, bro. You know, it's for the black man, by the black man, created and financed and maintained by the black man, defended by the black man. You know, it's a difference. You feel me? <laughs> it's a difference. You know, you should join the team. Instead of trying to take us back to ECOWAS, nigga, you should say fuck ECOWAS and get down with the team, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck ECOWAS. Join the team, bro. Join the team. You know, don't you want to be part of the Alliance of Sahelian States? You know, don't you want to don't you want to have respect and love around the world amongst your people, bro? Come on, man. Let's continue. 
While these coup plotters maintain tense relations with some of their West African counterparts, they share the same Pan-Africanist sovereignist rhetoric with the Senegalese president. President Fai was elected on a platform of advocating a break with the neocolonial order and a promise of change. At his inauguration on April 2nd, his supporters cheered the officials from Mali and Burkina Faso who had made the trip. This ideological proximity raised questions among Senegal's Western partners and within ECOWAS. Which side would he choose? Now, this is an article by the French media, right? Uh, this is mainly from the French media, but that last sentence is crazy to me, right? They said, which side will he choose? His Western partners or his, or his African brothers, his Pan-African and sovereignist brothers? Why do we have to choose a side? But that, that's crazy though. They told you it's sides in this shit, bro. It's, it's sides. Like you either on that side or this side. Nigga, you know what side I'm on, bro. Ain't, ain't no question. Ain't no question, bro. You know what side I'm banging with. You know what side I'm riding with. You know? If we got to choose sides, nigga, we choosing sides, bro. Yeah, we choosing sides. You know? Fuck the other side. Anyways, man. You know, I, I ain't going to gonna be here too long, man. Like I said. Like I said. Shout out to President Fi. I'm going to be sitting back. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be sitting back. I'm going to be watching. That's all I can do. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to watch what he do. I'm going to give him some time. A lot of y'all done ran out of patience already. Like, come on, give the boy some time. Give the brothers some time. We got to have more patience with our brothers, man. You know, we can't give our brothers, you know, 60 days and then we just throwing them in the trash. Nah, you know, let's let's sit back and let's watch. Let's observe, you know. Let's sit back. Let's observe. You know, but anyways, man, it's your boy Nefakari. That's a lane back in the billet. Yes, indeed. Cash up on the screen. Hey, album out right now. Yeah, don't forget. Album is out right now. Classic album. Anyway, man, it's your boy Nefakari. That's a lane. I'm gone. Peace. Spinning and get it back, never gon' get attacked Got shorty spinning back, changing my number Stacking this paper, expanding my budget Move like a prince when I'm stepping in public Don't run up on me, they know I'm protected Taking my power like fucking election Young and I'm running shit like I'm Treyori March on my enemies like I'm immortal March on my enemies, dance on their body Having my baby, she wanna come ride it Tell me she love me when I'm up inside it Pain in my heart, I could really get violent Pain in my heart and it's never gon' change March on my enemies, blow out they brains Young and I'm poppin', you know how we on it Pick up my phone when that money be callin' Pick up my phone when that money be calling, hang up the phone if they talking retarded. G gotta get mines, you know how we started. Shooting the kill when I go for my target. Back in the villain, I'm back in my bag. Know why they tripping, I know why they mad. Fuck how they feel, cause that's none of my business. Brand new Mercedes, you know how we living. Got shorty rides, she all in my bands. Don't be surprised when that money come in. Look at little mama, she know she a sin. Comes to the crib and she told me come in. Stepping inside, make it rain, make it thunder. Hop on the jet, take a trip out the country. Changing my scenery, healing my pain. Can't see my face, but they know my name. Spinning and get it back, never. Gonna get attacked, got shorty spinning back, changing my number Stacking this paper, expanding my budget Move like a prince when I'm stepping in public Don't run up on me, they know I'm protected Taking my power like fucking election Young and I'm running shit like I'm Treyori March on my enemies like I'm immortal March on my enemies, dance on their body Having my baby, she wanna come ride it Tell me she love me when I'm up inside it Pain in my heart, I could really get violent Pain in my heart and it's never gonna change March on my enemies, blow out they brains Young and I'm poppin', you know how we on it Pick up my phone when that money be callin'